<laughs> I'm going to tell you more about Artrasafe and about our proven breakthrough approach in joint preservation. I think that I know, don't need to tell you that we have a huge challenge in the treatment of osteoarthritis. This is a, group of, a large group of patients that is growing every year, and it will be the number one chronic disease in 2040. And on osteoarthritis, the most common type is knee osteoarthritis. And these patients, they have a damaged, very painful knee joint due to the fact that there is a loss of cartilage. And what we see that is the, the, the most effective treatment today um, is knee replacement with an artificial knee joint. But osteoarthritis with this type of treatment is causing a major socioeconomic uh, health issue. It costs us as a society a lot of money. And we were looking to the figures, we see that yearly in the seven major markets, 1.7 million patients are undergoing a knee replacement. And that's the thing, because a knee replacement, an artificial joint, has a limited lifespan. And that results in failure, and at the end, the knee joint needs to be replaced by a revision surgery, which is expensive and is often invalidating. So we need to postpone this knee replacement for years, especially because what we see in research, it's published in The Lancet, is that for patients that are relatively young, for example, under the age of 60 years, that after a knee replacement, the, the time to uh, survival to a, a knee to a, a revision replacement is only five years. It's actually less than five years. So we have a serious treatment gap. And the gap is for 900,000 patients a year because these patients are too young for the first knee replacement. So we really need uh, to postpone that first knee replacement. So um, what we see is that there is a real vast potential for uh, regenerative uh, techniques and devices in this surgical area. And looking to the, to the uh, Artisafe solution, this is reflecting a two billion market opportunity as an annual serviceable market. And why? Why is Artusave the team that can try to solve this problem? Why are we the ones that make a success out of it? My name is Karianne Lindenovius. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Artusave, and I have a background in medical technology. I've set up a medical technology innovation center in an academic hospital in the Netherlands. And uh, that was meant to, to bring academic knowledge into tangible commercial products for patients, for healthcare. And guess what? My favorite innovation I was working on was in joint preservation. That was about cartilage repair. And that was uh, an invention by Dr. Peter von Roermond. He is my CMO and co-founder of the company. He's the, the one who has the, the medical surgical experience. And very important in my company is Timo van Dienst. He's my commercial officer, and he is having 25 plus, year, plus years experience in the commercialization of medical devices in the big orthopedic companies. So we are the ones that are going to change this world in joint preservation. And this, this is Carlo. Carlo is an active patient suffering from osteoarthritis, so he has daily pain and he is limited in what he is doing. While well, he's quite active, so he wants to have a solution for that. But you see his age. He is way too young for a knee replacement. So Artusave has a solution for that. We have developed a knee reviver enabling knee joint distraction. We put the knee reviver at the outside of the knee joint and distract the knee joint for a few millimeters. We unload it. And by unloading, we initiate cartilage repair, joint tissue repair. It's a temporary treatment of only six weeks. And during the six weeks, research shows us that we stimulate an intermittent fluid pressure change, and that actually uh, takes care of nutrition of the cartilage. We have gained quite some clinical evidence. It's a proven treatment. We have done 250 patients over the years in seven clinical trials. And what we see is maybe the most important is the clinical benefit. We see significant reduction of pain and significant improvement of function. And what you can see on the images is from the top to the bottom, the change before knee joint distraction with a knee reviver and years afterwards. So we create a joint space with. It was not there anymore, but it is there again. That means that there is something in between. And that's what you can see on the MRI. That is cartilage. But the most important is the effect of all of this. And that is that we have a survival of 81% after five years. 
which means that five years after our treatment, 81% of the patient still has his own natural knee. And after nine years, it is still 48%. So uh, we have long-term clinical follow-up data, and it's proven to be a cost-effective solution. I'm not a scientist, so I always avoid to show too many details and graphs and figures, but this is something that I would like to show you, because this is what everyone says, it's not possible, and we show it is possible. What we see here is the growth in cartilage thickness. So on point zero, this is the moment before the treatment you have small cartilage thickness. Within one year, it increases, and it stays quite stable over the years. It decreases over time, but still after 10 years, you have more cartilage thickness than you had before the treatment. So where we are today? We have a validated design, clinically validated, um, and we have organized our supply chain. Um, the product is CE. Uh, certified, we have owned different patents, three patent families, and we are preparing for the Novo pathway uh, in, the, in the US. We are having market access, we have pre-sales of 250 knee revivers in Europe, started a pilot program in Germany, and this year we started the first reimbursement trial, it's in the Netherlands, it's RCT with 1,200 patients. And looking to our funding pathway, we are uh, originally a spin-off company from the University Medical Center in Utrecht. And we have uh, gained funding for different phases, from technical development to clinical validation. And now we are currently working on our market access by getting access to different European countries. And for our next funding round, we are focusing on getting the treatment reimbursed to really fulfill our market access uh, strategy and to create stable EU market presence. And in parallel, we prepare ourselves for the FDA uh, in the U.S. for a market entrance over there. So we invite investors to invest with us in the future of joint preservation. Looking to more detail, we were looking for an investment round of 5 million euros to create and further commercialize our strategy in Europe for, for market presence and an additional 8.5 million euros for our activities to create the entrance on the U.S. market. And this is where we all do it for. We are doing it for the patients, the happy patients. We have a sustainable solution for many patients. It is unique as it is temporary, it is regenerative, and it is cost effective. And there are many alternative uh, developments uh, on the way, but they're all focusing on early stage osteoarthritis. Our solution is for the severe, the last stage of osteoarthritis, when the patient is actually ready to get a knee replacement. And however, there are many um, uh, alternative developments going. There are no, uh, not enough clinical data yet, and there is no long-term clinical follow-up data. So I invite you to join us, get involved, contact me, and we make a success out of it. Thank you.